Oh, there you are, YouTube. Okay, so today's plan is to trim my beard. I want to take it pretty short. I don't want to fully get rid of it uh, because I don't want to scare my kids. They're very young and I don't want them to think I'm some new person. So I'm going to kind of do it day to day uh, into a slower transition into a shorter beard so that it's not a complete shock to them and so that they still know who I am. So that's what today's going to be and then following that um, I'm going to do a workout on that new exercise bike we got probably will film that as well um, I don't know for accountability or something like that just so I feel a little bit uh, compelled to do it more often I'll put it you know in fast mode um, so or time-lapse or something like that so you know it's not just a super long video uh, but yeah uh, and then who knows what's gonna happen the rest of the day, but those are my two plans today trim the beard and Then do a little workout maybe hour long or something like that. We'll see So I think I'm gonna put it on like a seven guard. Let me see if I can put that in focus Seven I don't know somewhere around there just to again make sure I keep the beard long I'm gonna Save the mustache too. So I may go shorter. We'll see. But I think seven is safe. You know, I think I might time lapse this. Kind of a major difference, but I'm hoping it's not too much to where it scares them. You know, the mustache is still there. I think we'll be fine. Maybe I'll go in wearing a hat. They know what I look like with a hat. So maybe the hat will be a good signifier for I'm the same person. Okay. So now that that's taken care of, I will begin my workout. But I gotta pull the bike out, forgot to do that. And I'll probably watch some television, some YouTube, maybe a movie. Maybe I'll bike to Mount Doom in Middle Earth. I won't have that in much time, but that is something I want to do someday. Okay, bike's out. Gotta unfold it, and then ride it, and pick a show. So I'm gonna do a time lapse for this video, but what I'm gonna be watching is uh, the YouTube channel 4K WDW, Walt Disney World, and there's like an hour and 30 minute video of um, just a walkthrough of the Magic Kingdom. So that's what I'll be doing, riding my bike through the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Okay, I did a full hour, and I forgot beforehand to raise the seat up, so it was at my wife's setting, so I didn't get full range of motion. I noticed pretty early on, but I didn't want to change it midway through. But yeah, like, I haven't worked out, worked out in probably 15 years, 2005, something like that, back in college, so this is a big step huge. My uh, work has a gym and I just started working out in it about a week before the pandemic. So I wanted to start then, but it was all stripped away. And I'm working at home throughout the summer. We'll see what happens later. But yeah, for now, this is what I have at home. I'm glad I can continue what I started right before the pandemic. But yeah, this is a big step. I'm sweating. You can't really tell. Well, maybe you can. Look at all that. Oh, man. 
Lots of sweat. And that entire trip, that entire biking was done at Magic Kingdom again on um, 4K WDW on that YouTube page. It's great, sort of like ASMR, and if you have workout equipment, if you have a, you know, the walking kind, whatever that's called, can't think of it right now, it's great to walk around Walt Disney, and like I did today, biked around Walt Disney Magic Kingdom. Okay. Whew, okay, it is like very hard to walk. I'm gonna put the bike away later. I'm just gonna relax for a little bit. I'm not gonna shower yet, because I don't want to sweat during the shower and after the shower, so I'm going to kind of cool down. <sighs> Just catch my breath. I don't know, maybe stretch or something. Who knows? But again, big step. Let's hope I keep it. I don't think I'm going to make like all these videos about this. Again, that's not like my interest. Um, it's just something I'm kind of trying to do. When you have kids, you want to live longer. That's part of it. Also, when we do get to go to Walt Disney World, whenever that is, because we weren't able to, I want to be prepared to do that walking. Like, I haven't done that, been there in over 10 years, or probably just about 10 years. That's a long time, you know. Like, I could, I was hitting up every ride, doing every event, and 10 years later, you know, mentally I feel like I can do that, but my body probably can't. So, in a way, this is kind of Disney training. Whew. Yeah, maybe I'll start doing some sit-ups and push-ups too. If I do, I'll film those. Yeah, I don't know. My mind's racing or confused. It's dinner time, the girls are down. I just made this shredded pork Asian salad. It's looking really good. I think I may have oversalted the carrots, but I like salt, so that'll be fine. So that Chinese barbecue pulled pork salad, that's a mouthful, was very good, but it's, it just wasn't very filling. So all that great flavor that I had in my mouth, I made disappear because I was so hungry afterwards. So I ate this nasty, baby granola bar that my kids don't like so I'm eating them and so that's that was what what I and you know and ended up the night that that was the flavor in my mouth at the end of the night so that's very disappointing because it was like such a good meal but I was so hungry because it was not filling that I ate that granola bar and then to get rid of that taste I ate some dill pickle chips which are always good but it would have been nice for the last thing that I ate to be that very good pulled pork salad thing. It was so good. Otherwise, other than that, I should say, we um, watched Queer Eye again. I think we have one episode left. Really good season. I mean, I feel like every, every one of their seasons are a good season. Is a good season. Um, but, yeah. I just, I'm sad that... That flavor isn't isn't still there. I'm tasting more of the dill chips right now. But my <laughs> in other topics, my legs really hurt. That workout. You know, afterwards, you know, I could feel it, but then my body was getting used to it. And then later in the night, like right now, it's like, oh man, I'm wondering how I'm gonna feel tomorrow. I think tomorrow could be a rough day. Because I'm not used to exercising. Like I said, it's been since 2005, I think. I had a roommate in college that would exercise and I would go with him. And when we didn't live together, I didn't go anymore. So, like I said, I think, what is that, 15 years? Yeah, haven't had any, like, real exercise in 15 years. Um, I, th I think I want to, like, get weights involved, too. Because if you see in the video... I don't know what to do with my arms. I was doing things I remember doing in PE, like this, going like that. Um, but I don't know, maybe I should get some like weights or something and lift weights while I'm, you know, riding that bike. I don't know. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for coming out to this pure hangout and maybe I'll see you tomorrow.